Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, our YouTube channel. If you like this kind of thing, edible landscaping, go ahead and subscribe. Also, like the video if you like it. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I want to tell you about the Ponderosa lemon. This is a very hardy lemon tree, which I planted in my yard about 10 years ago. And since that time, it has grown and grown and produced beautiful lemons. That's the one I'm going to pick to show you some of the characteristics of the fruit. Now this is late season for this tree in Florida. This is uh, mid-March and uh, and I'm sorry to say that's about when all this kind of stuff happens. We get lemons dropping on the ground because we've got too many, more than we can use or more than we wanted to deal with. And uh, now's the time to just go ahead and harvest all the rest of the fruit. And here's one of the main reasons why. It's because we're starting starting a new season. And we know that because you can see there's flowers growing. Let's see if I can get in, focus in on one. Okay, there's one. Yeah, we're starting to get flowers. And if we leave the fruit on there too late in the season, it's really going to inhibit the flower growth and we won't get a good crop next year. So we've enjoyed the, the fruit this year and uh, it's time to go into phase one again. So anyhow. Let's talk about this tree for a second. Some of the undesirable characteristics. Well, one undesirable characteristic of this citrus tree and some other kinds of citrus trees like grapefruit is that they get big thorns. This one, if you rub up against one of these thorns, it's a bad day. It's got thorns here and there, and uh, you just gotta be aware of it. It's kind of the trade-off. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't say there's much of a downside to this tree. This one, you know, I planted it in a weird place to get it out of the sprinklers and it started to do the tilt. And since I liked it so much, I didn't want to didn't want to really cut it back too much, so I've used just a 4x4 four four to prop it up. But um, it will get so much fruit on it that it will weigh this tree right on down to the ground. So I've had to thin it every year to remove some of the fruit. It's an Indian River fruit type of, of citrus tree. In other words, it's grafted to a rootstock that dates back to the... Uh, to the times when the Spanish were in Florida and they basically abandoned their fruit trees and they grew in the forest of Florida for about 400 years. Those are the rootstock. The rootstock from those trees is what's used today in Florida to grow citrus. They call it Indian River fruit. And uh, very important to understand that although you can grow a lemon tree or citrus tree from a seed, it's not going to produce good fruit. It doesn't grow true to the seed. And I'll produce another video on that to tell you about fruit trees that produce good fruit from seed and not. But anyway, in this video, that's not what I want to talk about. I just want to tell you about this uh, beautiful Ponderosa lemon. Now these lemons get big. They weigh at least a pound or two each. And another characteristic is that they are very thick skinned. In fact, they're a cross between a lemon, this type of lemon, and a citrone. So that leads to a very thick skin. It's very good white fleshed fruit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fruit. Okay, here are a couple of fruit that I just picked. You can tell one of the things that I first notice is that it's kind of a bumpy, pitted looking skin, unlike a lot of lemons, it's more of an irregular shape. Uh, another characteristic of this is it usually has this type of ending on the end, not all lemons have that. Of course most do, the kind you buy in the store usually do. Uh, and that they're big. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look inside one of these. that. All right. That is really, really delicious. You can see they kind of have a cavity down the middle. And this, this skin is extremely thick, much thicker than you'd find on most other lemons. And that's that crossing it with the citron. Uh, another aspect is that it's got a lot of seeds. And they'll grow very easily, but like I said, don't waste your time growing seeds from a lemon tree unless you just want a tree for shade. And it's going to be a very thorny tree at that if you think the grafted kinds got thorns. Wait until you see what the, the uh, variety that you grow from a seed will produce. Look at how much juice, super juicy, just dripping away. Yeah, we make a lot of lemonade with these. Really pretty high quality, high producing lemon tree. Okay, well that's about all I have to say about the delicious Ponderosa lemon tree. I hope you like this video. Maybe you learned something. 
If you have anything you can teach uh, anybody else about this tree, go ahead and leave a comment on the, uh, on the video page. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are made. They try to put out at least a couple every week, sometimes more. All right, thanks for watching.